What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my brand new channel, MLB 18 Diamond Dynasty. So today, I'm going to be talking a lot about how to finish your conquest mode in under 50 turns and all the programs and challenges and everything you need to know. First, we're going to kick it Let's off with challenges. It. And your programs are going to be right in here. So we're going to start off all the way at the bottom. This is the best way to do it. All the way down. These are going to be your starter missions. These are going to be the easiest ones you do, right? So this is your rewards page kind of go through get a feel for everything my number one tip would be to go through all of your programs and see what you need to do and it'll help you um, be able to see you know what players you need to get out there what players and stats and missions you need to do things like that so your rewards for those are gonna be right here and the missions are just gonna be R1 over see I have Koji almost done you know I have a couple things like that. let's move on to a second tip right here go through each player from Babe Ruth all the way down every hit all these boxes get yourself familiar with all the programs it'll really help you familiarize yourself with what needs to be now done. we're gonna go over conquest a little bit so I see on a lot of streams or a lot of YouTube videos you know people are always asking in the comment section you know how do I beat conquest or man conquest takes so much time I really want to know how to get it done quicker well I'm here to tell you that you can do it in 50 turns and sometimes less depending on how much time you put into it so let's get started first things first this took me I just finished earlier today as you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen right there I am a conquest winner I have finished it took me a total of 14 hours but I have completed it so we're gonna get right into it first things first you get five guys all right and I'm just gonna kind of run you through it. you get five fans all right first thing you want to do is surround your base that's always the most important okay Surround your stronghold. Easiest tip, right? Let's go over the Steel Fans page. Steel Fans is worthless. It is a pointless phase. Skip it every single time. 100% of the time, I promise you, I did not use it once, and I beat this in 50 turns. Okay? So absolutely skip this phase 100% of the time. So we're going to press Start. Skip to Reinforce. Another good tip is if you press the Start button, you're going to see your programs right here rather than having to go out to the main menu every time. So we're skipping that phase. All right, we're going to reinforce right here. We're just going to put two right there. Move fans. Obviously, we don't have any, right? So we're just going to skip that. And again, guys, you know, this is going to be for a, a beginner's guide because, you know, not a lot of people really know how Conquest works and they want all the challenges. So if you already know or anything like that, you know, sorry to be repetitive, but definitely want to help out everybody out there we can. So... We now are on the attack phase again. So we're going to go around. Since the twins are closest to us, we're going to kind of move towards them. The key, again, steel phase, we switch. The key to beating Conquest as quickly as possible is take over the northwest side up here of the map first. Okay? The, the trick is, once you're in the northwest side, you're going to come down. Right, you're gonna take over all these because once you have that side of the map, nobody can attack you from the north, nobody can attack you from the west, and nobody can attack you from the south. So you're gonna have that whole side of the map to just move all of your fans over, right? Easy, one sweep, get it done. So we're gonna go ahead and move our reinforcements again. Put three there. Awesome. Don't have any fans to move, right? So we're gonna skip that. Back to our attack phase. We're gonna put another, you know, couple guys over here and start moving to the left. Again, steel phase. You just want to keep repeating this phase. The key is, you notice how I have all ones in the middle of my map. You always want to just move with one hexagon and stack that with as many fans as possible. So we're going to go ahead and skip ahead until you see the process and how much Remember, guys, it progresses. The more fans and the more spaces you have, the more fans you'll get on the reinforcement stage. All right, guys, now you have a decent amount of fans in one spot. We have eight fans, and there are seven spots right in front of us that we're going to go ahead and take over. Another important note is when you're playing these games, when you have a lot of fans in one spot and only one or two or a limited amount that you're going against you're always going to want to simulate these they are not worth playing the only games you want to play are the stronghold games remember that now notice i went through 
every single one of my reinforcements there and I went until I had no more fans left. Now I have one in each spot still. As you can see, the Minnesota Twins are a little bit, you know, close to my zone. So what I'm gonna do here is kind of whittle my way around and really fortify my base. I try to have at least two spots away from every single team. That way I don't have to worry about my first stronghold at all. Now remember, if you lose your very first stronghold and you don't have any more bases, you lose. But if you have other bases and you lose just one, you're still fine. Now, me personally, I like to have a lot of breathing room, so I'm going to go ahead and do one more turn and really get a good defense around my base. All right, guys, we got a decent defense. We have two spots, right, two hexagons around my base for defense. Now we can go ahead and move towards that northwest side of the map, so let's do that. Now, as you can see, we have almost the Colorado Rockies completely surrounded. If you press square, you can see that they have 11 people, 11 million fans in their stronghold. I have 14 that can't attack. So, if I wanted to, I could play them and play them on All-Star. Now, remember, the more fans you have and the less fans the Stronghold has, you can go down on difficulty. So, if I have a lot more fans than the Stronghold, you can play on Rookie and possibly Veteran. The goal is to play every Stronghold on Rookie. That way, it's easier for you to do your challenges and your programs. Now, I know some of you guys may be wondering, why do the game details say you're already on turn 14? There's no way you're going to get across this whole board in 50 turns or less. Well, let me tell you. When you go further into the game and you start taking over more strongholds, your turns become very, very long. Once you get up to like 90 fans, 99 fans, which is the max, your turn goes on for 5 to 10 minutes, just simulating all these little specs. It takes a lot of time, but once you get in the higher turns, they last a lot longer. So if you guys keep repeating this process, taking your one reinforcement stack, taking all the smaller pieces out, and playing all the strongholds on Rookie, this is going to be the easiest way for you to beat Diamond Dynasty's Conquest in 50 turns or less. Be sure to leave a like, guys. I would really appreciate it. This is my very first video. I'm hoping to be uploading twice a week. It's going to be all Diamond Dynasty videos, and it's going to be progress, tips, tricks, programs, things like that on this channel. Guys, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. This is my first YouTube video on this channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you, guys.